Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. And first of all, happy 15th World UFO Day. Yes, this is the 15th World UFO Day. So it's posted on Coast to Coast AM. So enjoy World UFO Day. Uh, maybe you'll get lucky to see a UFO. And if you see a gray, take him to lunch. <laughs> all right. The real reason I'm posting this video is last night on Coast to Coast AM, my video appeared, and the link will be in the description, so you can go to Coast to Coast AM, <coughs> excuse me, and um, look at the video, and the audio was heard on Coast last night, and I got a couple things to say about... Uh, Area 51 drone and the trolls on Belgab who think that I'm being coached by George Norrie. I am not. Now, somebody said, I think it was O'Neill, that troll, that they could see the screen reflected in the background of my video. I couldn't. But what was up there was the content that I wrote and I had it on the screen because I kept blowing the lines. And my video in May, my video this month, or actually it was done in June. It was published July 1st because uh, of George Norrie's trip. Tom and George are very busy. George had an event in St. Louis with Stanton Friedman. I didn't hear from Tom for about a week after I sent him the first video and I had to redo it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take a break after this and have some hot tea. Or take a hot shower. I don't know which. My, my, I've got a touch of bronchitis, too. I'm sorry about the coughing. But the only thing George tells me to do, he gives me what he wants me to talk about for the month. And Tom gives the input if it's acceptable or not the way I've done the video. And he said that it looked like I was reading off the screen and try to act more natural. So I had to redo it. And I had the text on the screen that I wrote, not George Norrie, not Tom Danhauser, and not anyone at Premier or Coast to Coast AM. All of that is my original writing. The same with the one I did in May. So Area 51 drone and O'Neill with their BS that I was coached or told what to do is a total lie. I worked really hard at this video. It's probably the hardest I've done out of the 1,060 or more videos I've done for YouTube. Because I kept getting it wrong. I kept leaving out the line about 60 million Americans have mental illness according to the Huffington Post. I kept I added things to the transcript that weren't in the transcript, and I made mistakes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had to redo it over. I had to redo the one in May over about eight or nine times before I got it right. And it's much harder to do a video for one minute than it is for five or ten or fifteen minutes or an hour. Because you don't have a lot of time to talk. I'm looking down at my uh, notifications for Mobile Strike. So anyone who thinks that I'm being uh, sent a script or George Norrie is sending me stuff like I'm on a teleprompter like Obama or Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump is full of crap. He says, this is what I want you to talk about this month and that's it. And Tom will say, but what, Tom reviews it. I don't know if George reviews it or not. I assume he does before it goes on the air and before it goes on the web page. And if Tommy said it's great, it's acceptable, they publish it. That's it. Now, I've been a professional writer in the past, but the context of anything I write out on on my screen, actually I send myself an email and type it in and then put it on my screen. <clears throat> and I sent Tommy the text to the video. And my friend, six week tenure, hi there, 
posted on Melgab. I sent him all the emails. I keep every email that I send to George Nori and Tom Danheiser. And it kept the first video that had to be redone and the second video. And that's what you saw if you looked at Coast to Coast last night or if you listened live to Coast to Coast. You heard the audio of my video. So I'm tired of people, Area 51, uh, like Area 51 drone and O'Neill saying that <clears throat> I didn't do this. They're absolutely wrong and they're trolls. Drone's mad because I won't talk to him anymore. And O'Neill's never said a kind word about me in the millions or hundreds of posts he's left on in the musings thread on Belgab. They're both trolls. So don't believe the word of a troll. All right, this is George Senda. I'll post a link to Coast to Coast AM for this month's video. And I already know the topic of next month's video, or actually this month's video. And that's going to be hard to do because it's a very open-ended topic. I'm not sure how to conclude the video. I have to ask Jory about, Nori about that. And the other thing last night, <clears throat> there was all this drama about Art Bell being ill. And some guy on Twitter posted twice that Art Bell was dead. Now, I got an email from George himself when this all came up <clears throat> saying that Art Bell was resting comfortably at his home. He was not dead, and he was quite alive. Now, this all came on. <clears throat> I was sent an email by somebody named Chris. I don't know if it's little Chris. I think Chris Crosby. That's who it was. Saying, <clears throat> they sent an email to George and sent an email to me asking George Nori to do a event like Art Bell used to do to get rain in Texas to basically pray or think nice thoughts about Art Bell. And I always think nice thoughts about Art Bell. I love Art Bell. And anybody who says otherwise is a liar. <clears throat> So I started looking on Art Bell's Facebook page, the Dark Matter page. Found nothing about Art Bell being dead. I found a notification about his being sick with a, what may be an older picture of him. I found that on Bell Gab, there was nothing on Bell Gab. Both I and Six Week Tenure looked about George Norrie being, I mean, not George Norrie, sorry, about Art Bell being dead. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, one guy made a nasty comment that Art Bell had died on Belgat. And also, supposedly, I did not listen to this, but Six Week Tenure told me that Heather dropped off the air 38 minutes before the midnight, uh, please pray for Art Bell or whatever. Aldous Burbank was pushing that. Uh, I forget what he called it exactly. And Keith Rowland had to take over, and Heather never went back to the air. So that was the other drama going on. <clears throat> Tom called me and asked if I have any news. I gave him and George all the news while I was on Skype with Six Week Tenure, and we started to investigate it. And this was, I think, a cruel hoax. <clears throat> Excuse me. Attacking Art Bell and maybe indirectly trying to stop my video from appearing on Coast to Coast AM or take uh, attention away from it. I don't know. Um, but I don't really care because my video was going to post no matter what a bunch of trolls did. But to say on, on Twitter that Art Bell, radio legend, radio hall of fame member, and our favorite talk show host for years long before any of us ever heard of George Nori, nothing against George, I love George too, but was dead is just a cruel and despicable thing to do. And I wish I knew who that uh, guy on Twitter was who posted that, because it upset a lot of people, I'm certain of that. All right, that's it, I need to take a break, I can't talk anymore. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Go to the link if you want to watch my video. And the video for July will appear in July, barring anything unforeseen. 
Once I send it to George or Tommy and I send both of them a copy, it's up to them to decide whether it gets published or I have to redo it. It's out of my hands at that point. I send it to them at Premier Radio Network at Coast to Coast AM, and then they decide if it goes on the air or not. Okay, have a great day, a great weekend, a great holiday, and be safe out there. Bye-bye.